hey this is Danny and the channel is you and me living free and we are out on the road and I'm out on the road right now but I'm gonna back up a couple of days and just I took a bunch of pictures and a couple short videos as I was preparing for this trip so if you've been following me you know that I have been home for over a month and it's been literally killing me <laughs> It hasn't been killing me. That's the wrong choice of words. Uh, I was worried. I had a health concern and it turned out I was okay. Then I had dental issues. All of these things uh, keeping me in town for doctor's appointments and dentist appointments and taking care of business. And meanwhile, it was gray. It was cloudy. It was um, raining. Just rained four days in a row right before I got on the road. Uh, just really really challenging and on top of all of that I have basically two weeks to travel so this week is a two-week trip and I have a daily budget amount that I like to stay under when I travel and that that budget amount is $30 a day and so it's really hard to do a short trip cover a long distance and stay anywhere near budget uh, budget friendly. So I was really debating gas prices as we know right now have shot up through the roof and there are more than dollar prices gas prices are more than a gallon more now than they were when I took my last trip. So I was really from Kansas City really going to try to talk myself into doing a trip to Oklahoma, a trip to Arkansas or Missouri and there I'm not saying there aren't great places in Missouri, Arkansas and Oklahoma there are and I've even been to a couple of them but also they just weren't they weren't really making me excited to get on the road and and when I'm home and especially for a while and especially with everything that was going on and I was worried and I was stressed I was I was feeling very depressed and I didn't have the the energy and the and I didn't have what it took to clean out the van and get ready for everything so Literally, once I decided where I was going, which I'm going to Padre, so I'm going to Padre Island off the coast of Texas, and there's a huge strip of beach. There's regular Padre, which is by Corpus Christi, Texas, and it goes all the way down. I think it's Port Isabel, South Padre Island over there, and the huge stretch. There's a national seashore. There's free camping on the beach, so I'm super excited. But I wanted to give you give you kind of an idea of I I planned this whole thing and got the van ready in a in a day and a half. So one day plus a couple hours the next morning. And I I took some pictures so that I could kind of show you what goes into trip prep and all of that, especially on a shortened timeline, but I still got everything important in. So that's what I'm going to share with you in this video and I hope it helps and plus um, maybe we'll have a little bit of fun and uh, and that's it so I hope you enjoy it so let's do this so we begin two days ago this is the van this is the remnants this is what it looked like after my last trip I just carried into the house a few bins and things you'll see from the far back but otherwise I kind of left it as is my plan was to clean everything out, wash the floors, wash everything, scrub everything down. I'm missing a hubcap, as you can see. Everything is just as it was. I didn't even bring in my water. There's my water, half full from last trip. There's my dirty sheets, still on the bed from the last trip. <laughs> so I carried a few things in, and here they are sitting in my room where they've been sitting for weeks. All that crap. <laughs> I'm not afraid to show my mess, I think. <laughs> it's all valuable, right? This is real life. So here's my big massive list of things I need to do before I can leave town that I have all organized. This is me charging everything I own before I get on the road because we all know it's a whole lot easier to charge things when you're home than it is when you're on the road. Not that it's that hard, but I like to start out with everything at full charge. So I brought in more stuff from the van. These three clear containers over on the right are the things from underneath my bed. I brought in all the containers from my van so that I could sit here in my living room and get everything organized, then carry it back out to the van. 
I love using the clear containers and the crates because I can literally see everything I'm working with. Each and every crate has a different category, different stuff that goes in it. So when things get mix matched through travel and usually when I'm home is when they get mix matched because I throw things and think, oh, I'll sort that out later, which is a bad idea. But so anyway, this gives me a chance to see everything and I get it all sorted and then haul it back out to the van. Here I'm showing you my dirty clothes bag that I use and I stock up my laundry supplies. I make sure I have enough dryer sheets in there, enough. That's my detergent actually right there, which I love instead of carrying the liquid. I don't have to worry about this spilling. They're actually detergent sheets. I'll stick a link in the, in the comments if anybody wants that. Here's another great prep thing that I do. I take the weather app on my phone and I add in all the cities I'm gonna be going through along with my destination so that I have a 10 day forecast for everywhere that I plan to go to. This is my trip this time and all the towns I'll be going through. It's gonna be like 90 degrees in San Antonio and then it'll be only 73 at Padre because we got that nice breeze coming. Oh, I can't wait. Here's another thing I thought I would show just because I think it's helpful and that's how I stack my cooler. I'm just going to tell you my cooler was very cheap and it does not hold the cold all that well, but it is the right shape, it's the right color, it fits for what I need and it's fine for now. So here's what I do to make it hold ice longer. I stick in the Reflectix across the bottom, across three sides. I find this really helps it stay cooler longer. Next, I have the little wire shelf. You can buy those at Walmart for two or three dollars, three or four dollars, and that keeps my food up off of the ice. So I have a separation between my food and the ice. Then the little clear plastic bin is an extra measure of protection from the wet and the ice that I can put things in if I need to. Then there's one more piece of Reflectix across the top and everything stays nice and cool. So I'm giving you another glance. I have washed my sheets, but I haven't put them on. I've started loading in some of my clothes. There's my blankets in my passenger seat of my car. And I decide, I clean my room at home because I like coming home to a clean room. And I decide it's time to get on the road. I went ahead and put that hubcap on. Remember from the first picture, it was missing the hubcap up front. Like magic, I'm at the gas station now. I'm filling up. That's another thing that I do before a trip is I look up gas prices in the in the states I'm going to. I already know Oklahoma and Texas are, uh, are very similar gas prices to Kansas, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that blowing out my budget too much, although gas prices everywhere are high right now. So this is me at Quick Trip. I go get my gas, I get my ice, and here's how I load up my cooler. I put my drinks down in the bottom, then you have the tray, and then that salad mix and things I really don't want getting wet at all I put inside that little bin. So now you know how that works and I really hope that helps somebody. Okay that was me. I took off left town as I was driving out of Kansas City. I kind of I just started to ball like a baby. <laughs> I started to ball like a baby. I'm so happy to be back in the van. I'm so happy to be excited about going somewhere. I'm happy to be, um, to have everything loaded up, to be getting out of town, to be healthy, to have my teeth okay, to have my body okay. Um, physically, mentally, spiritual, everything feels so good knowing that I can get out of town. It's been a roller coaster ride lately, and to be back on the road is simply just so joyful and so wonderful. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for being here, and I know this is kind of a really practical video, and I hope it really helps somebody because you know there's a lot of little things that go into trip prep that can make things just easier and more fun once you're on the road and it's my ultimate goal to like really have the van completely like when I left uh, yesterday afternoon my bed still wasn't made at least I had clean sheets but I made my bed before I slept in it and I had still a bunch of food and stuff on the on the floor and random things that needed to be organized and put away but I was okay with all that ideally sometimes I think oh I'd rather have it all done at home and be set out on the road and but the fact of the matter is 
would I rather be sitting in my driveway doing that stuff or would I rather be somewhere away from home? Um, like last night I did it at the Cracker Barrel, you know, in Oklahoma City or in Norman, Oklahoma. So I, I, would, I was sitting there last night doing it thinking, yeah, I'd rather do it now. Like I, I just would, it, it works for me, it's okay. So it doesn't have to be ideal, it doesn't have to be pretty. And I still didn't get the van cleaned the way I wanted to. Now, this is only a two week trip, so I can clean while I'm on the road. Plus, I'm in cities the whole time, basically, except for being at the beach. But I'm, I'm through a lot of cities. I'll have plenty of time and opportunity to go through a car wash, get a vacuum, um, maybe even get some um, some cleaner or whatever in, because I've got some spots on the carpet back there that I wanted to get out. But whatever, it, it's not all perfect, but I'm out on the road and I have everything I need and that's what counts. I'm so excited, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so happy to be back on the road. I'm glad you're with me. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I'm sending you a ton of love. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. The link is in the description if you want it. Um, if you're still watching at this point, I hope you have liked and subscribed. Please um, do those things. The algorithm loves it. If you're still around here right now, you probably already have, and I thank you. And so I think that's it for me. I'll, I'll see you. I'm gonna do a couple of videos from the road, I think. And, uh, and talk about talk about that kind of stuff, but, uh, but we'll see. And so I'm glad you're along for the ride. I'm glad I'm along for the ride. <laughs> Let's do this, talk to you soon, bye.